I didn't accept that. And then, and then Kina almost dies. How about we don't die, Kina? We need you alive. I don't have limit glove right now, or this fight would already be over. But <laughs> maybe I'll run over and get limit glove for Kina. Because his little eat ability there. If you eat certain monsters, you'll get abilities. Limit Glove is the most OP thing you can possibly give him. Because if he is at 1 HP, he does 9,999 points of damage. Automatically. Okay, start doing your job, Vivi. We need to keep our peoples alive. Dun dun. <laughs> eh, hey, Chapu! All right, Freya, come on, kill it. Or Kina can almost die again. Saddam, you're really failing as a thief right now. Wait a minute. Oh, my Kina. I really wish I had. I had the ability to trance. That would make things so much easier. You know what? Freya's jumping. I need to get her the hell out of this party for a minute. Okay, you keep Vivi alive. This is what happens when I don't pay much attention to keeping my characters leveled up. Stay alive. There we go. You use the last potion on Freya. Or she could die. That could be a thing, and now Kina's gonna die. Oh. Well, that just happened. So then. Actually, you know what? No, I'm beginning to remember something. If I remember correctly, you can actually cast darkness on this guy. Which I probably should have learned earlier. <laughs> Take the darkness! Use a high potion! Use more high potions! Yeah! There we go, now this will be a little bit easier, probably, maybe. Um... Okay, we've got people we're keeping alive. Damn it, Zidon, steal stuff! It's not that hard. Usually. Okay, this is my last Phoenix down. This is. Screw this, I'm attacking him. I've got enough gold to buy whatever he's charging. I don't know. <laughs> the time does all the damage! Oh, he was almost dead anyway, okay. Well, that fight was both frustrating and difficult. I'm unable to decide which it was. Yay, we learned things. Yay for learning things. Gotta tie that. What happened to Mr. Giesen, Luke? We must hurry. Her Majesty is in danger. I used to be able to pull off an Australian accent, but I'm getting really bad at it now. I regret nothing. And now we get to see what the hell is going on with Garnett and Steiner. They are obviously not on their way to Bermisha. They are going straight back to Alexandria, because they're s not very bright. Once we cross this gate, we're in Alexandrian territory. Hold it right there. What is the purpose of your visit? I heard workers were needed to fix Southgate. I brought my belongings so that I may live and work here. That's great. They've been working on the gate non-stop since the accident, but it's still broken. 
I need to check your back. Rules and regulations, you know. Dot, dot, dot. Well, I'm gonna guess the garnet's in the bag, so... There we go, just doing our job. So, where are you from? Blast, I must do something! The, pol the police are searching for a girl and a middle-aged man! Did you see a pair like that on your way here? It's not as really tight. The girl supposedly looks exactly like Princess Garnet, the most beautiful princess ever to grace Alexandria Castle. They're talking about a minor! But you know how Queen Bronn looks. It's hard to believe that she'd have such a beautiful daughter. Ugh, what is this? What is those? What are those? Those rotten things? Are they poison? Rotten? I'm not carrying anything that's rotting! Oh, it's your least favorite food. Blimblum's delicacy, glacial pickles. The entire back is full of glacial pickles. Garnet must be dying in there. They're my favorite! I cannot start my day without them. Yeah, sure. People who like them all say that. You can go now. Thank you! How the fuck they just let him pass? They don't even check the entire bag. Granted, it is full of pickles, so... Oh god, Garnet must be dying from the stench of those things. And she will never get it out of her skin. She'll be forever known as the Pickle Princess. I must find a spot where I won't be seen! That alleyway looks acceptable, but the girl and man are in the way. So we have to get the man and the girl and stuff to get out of the way. Hey you. The key breaks down a lot because the hinges don't fit very well. The road leads to the bottom of the mist. No one uses it, so there's no need to fix it really. So I just polish up the gate and make it look nice. That, makes, that takes care of it for a couple months. <laughs> you were the reason we couldn't come in through this gate! Kill! <laughs> I almost lost control of myself until Garnet kicked me in the back. Let's see, I need two mo model three. Oh, you brought your things with you. Are you here to work? Answer. I indeed! Welcome. I'm also new here. I've been working here for five months as Chief Engineer of Bowden Gate. But he's the only one working under me. Points to the dude. Oh dear! Follow the gate. I'll be going back to the castle next month once my contract expires. I'll be joining a team of engineers who are developing a new engine that runs without mist. The world outside the mist or the world outside the mist continent is uncharted territory, but there's no need to worry about our safety if we can explore it on an airship. As far as you know, Regent Sid is an advocate of technological advancement. I'm oh, sorry, I've tucked your ear off. There's something I must tell you. The gate at the bottom of the mist has been left broken? Did you think you could get away with that? Excuse me. He must go yell at him now. Now I just need to get rid of that girl. Hey miss, hey miss, I need you to leave. I can't believe it went out of business. Aww. Shop went out of business. I don't know, I didn't know because I was on the other side of the mountain. Console her. What good is it to be moaned when it's already happened? Kicked in the back by Garnet. <laughs> well, what I mean to say is that, now that, there is, now that we are here, there must be things we can do to help the ones we love. Aww. You're right, I gotta encourage him. Just listen to somebody they've never met. Part-time worker Mary is, is fairly badass, I have to admit. Hey, hold on. Uh-oh. We boned! We got caught! Rules and regulations, you know. Would you come over here? Well, um, please don't check in the bag. There's nothing in the bag but pickles. I swear, just, just, just the pickles. Stop right there. Don't make a move until I tell you. Now turn around slowly. Don't make a false move. Well, we're fucked. Phew. You need a south gate to pass, or you need a gate pass to reach the south gate summit. Okay, I'm leaving it right here. Pick it up after I leave. I'd come closer, but you're carrying those stinky pickles. See, I'm leaving it right here. Oh, okay. He's not angry at me. Good. Last thing we need is to get caught. That would be bad. Especially because we're trying to get to Alexandria for some silly, silly reason. If Bron is behind all of this, you don't want to go near her right now. Ahem. Tis foolishness! If all were so easy, why, none would suffer in this world! Of course it's Zidane's line. Steiner, is it okay for me to come out? Yes! Thank you. I'll come out now. Please keep an eye out. Yes! <laughs> yes! Russell, Russell. Russell, Russell. Hi, Garnet. Oh, finally, some fresh air. The horrible smell. It gave me a terrible headache. wonder how long she'd been in that bag. 
Maybe I'll get changed while he's on lookout. Get changed? Oh no. Then guess what we're going to do? No, darn it! I did it too quick. I was going to go to the other side and then Steiner would accidentally see her naked. You can turn around now, Steiner. Princess! Steiner! Um, yes. Oh, um, Miss Dagger! You have to call me Dagger until you reach Treno. Don't salute me either. Yes, until you reach Treno and find a way back to the castle, I will be careful. Okay, let's go. This is going to end terribly. Wow. That cable car will take us to the summit. We're almost there, Steiner. Alexandria is just beyond the summit, right? I managed to get it without Sa I managed it without Sedan's help. You never needed him to begin with, Princess. Oh, it's okay. I still ship you with Sedan Garnet. I'll get my goods in a minute. I have a potion and a moogle to interact with. Hi, Grimo. Favorite text. Oh, what you delivered? I have a lot of letters I need to deliver. I think I missed some. Anyway, we have a woman we want to talk to. Come get your goods. Come get your goods. Nothing interesting. Um. Anything better I can equip you with? Oh, apparently yes. Um, sure. We're not going to give her the Magus hat. We need to give that to, um, Vivi. Okay. And then we gotta equip abilities on people! Abilities are good, and my phone has come shut off again. There we go. Gotta make sure it stays on this Twitch chat, or I won't be able to converse with people. Let's see here. And then Steiner, equip your stuff. I'm dead killer. And cover. There we go. That's everything for you. Yes? Phone? Can I help you? I see your gate pass. Okay. Yep, it's that one. And of Necro decides to contact me and make Final Fantasy IX, or make Metal Gear Solid's sounds burst all over my Let's Play. You all can go thank him for that. Let's sit here. Let's sit here. Please wait while I prepare for departure. While I just... Look at things on each side, and don't say or do anything of importance. Wait, wait for me! Pet pants, I made it! Thank you for your kind words earlier. No, I thank you. What? Now departing. Now it's time to sit down as we go all the way up to the mountain. Phew, I feel more relaxed now. That, that is understandable. Our journey from Limblum was very tough, but... It was your white magic that helped me through the battles against all those monsters. Your fortitude that got us past the obnoxious Moogles in the Chocobo's forest. And finally, your idea to use the glacial pickles to get past the Sasuke guards. I'm thoroughly impressed by your intelligence and courage, Princess. You called me Princess again. My apologies, I'm just not used to. It's okay, I made a lot of mistakes when Sedan taught me how to talk like this. That peasant had no manners whatsoever! Although, he did have some wit for a bumpkin, but... The way he spoke to you is simply unacceptable! I say good riddance. I like being very, very over the top when I voice Steiner. It's entertaining. Dead internet is bad. I hope my internet doesn't die. Can you stand up? Don't worry about me. Please, protect Bermish. And then he dies. Poor guy. Everybody's dying. Where's war? I will protect Amisha. You have my word. Well, time for us to go away and do stuff. So while Garnett's trouncing around thinking she's an adult, we're going to war. <laughs> That's kind of a, um, bit of a difference. Anyway, Vivi, you can equip the Magasite now. Yes. And do you have any abilities you can equip? Nope, oh, bup kiss. Um, um, um. 
All right, before we go into Bermisha, there is something I want to do first. And that is get into a fight, apparently. Hi! What the hell are you? Whatever you are, you're getting killed. Goodbye. I set you on fire! Wait, he's not dead yet. Still not dead yet. Okay, that did buff kiss. You're not a very effective Yeti. At least I have Zidane on my hand, or on my side, who can just destroy everything. Yay, I leveled up. Well, I started to, at least. 